Have you seen Buzz Aldrin uh, punch that guy in the face? Oh, no, I didn't see him punch the guy. It is incredible. Yeah. I do, I do know what he saw when we landed, but he can't talk about it. His sister confirmed it to what? me. What did you, what? Moon base? What's going on right now? When we landed on the moon, there was a, around that crater above where we landed, uh, there were multiple ET craft that were just hovering there watching. Yo, and that uh, is true. Up, That's 100% up, true. Bro, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold yeah. the phone. Yep. This ain't yep. good. Whoa. Or maybe it is. They're just checking them out. You, yep. Like an audience. They were going, you know, hmm, that's interesting. These guys are up here, and it's like 1969, the Cold War is going on, and the Apollo mission was a militarized operation competing with the Soviet Union. Yeah. So we were viewed as, as trying to go into space in a divisive and uh, war-making way. I mean, the space program ostensibly was civilian, but it was really a proxy for the Cold War. That's the truth. Right. So you're yeah. telling me when Buzz... Aldrin stepped on the moon. He saw five extraterrestrial aircrafts. Well, I don't. I think there were more, more than that. I think just well, watching him the, step on them, take his first step on the moon. Uh, well, actually, uh, Neil yeah, Armstrong yeah. was the first. No, his first step. step. By the way, his Buzz, Buzz I watched him Buzz take his first step. Yes, Buzz Aldrin was second. Um, you know, my uncle was involved with that because he helped design the lunar module that carried them there. But uh, you know, you know that footage highly classified. They say they've lost it. NASA, did you see that in the news not mm -hmm. long ago? We we lost the original footage from the moon landing. I mean, the most important event in, in the history of mankind. We just lost it. And, you know, gee, you know, my dog ate the homework. I mean, it's Yo, my nonsense. dog does eat the homework. We, we just got that your could dogs. totally be true. They're oh, you've seen her? Yeah, yeah. She eats beautiful. everything. She ate my bird, actually. Oh, well, that's, yeah. not, that's not so great. Sorry. And by the way, that's I'm sad. That is bad. That. Oh. It's very sad. Thanks for the clarification, Mike. Well, because yeah. some people that, thought wait, it wasn't, that's, right? Hey, that's wild. That is wild. I have we a ain't got started yet. We no, got I know, lots. I know, I know. Yeah. I, and this, yeah, how do you, how do you lose that footage? No, like, you that's not a memory card you just like. Well, that's what he's saying. <laughs> that's ridiculous. There's yeah, no such it's, thing as a memory card back then. I know, but like, for you. I know that's not a, the little bugaboo like nowadays where you drop a memory card and you me messed mm -hmm. up a vlog moment like I have. Bro, can you imagine, can you imagine you're landing on the moon? How would I describe it? I was going to say planet. It's not a planet. Can you imagine you're landing on uh, the moon and you look across the way and there's things watching you? Yeah. That's fucking scary. But they knew beforehand. Well, and you can do what? Have you seen the picture they, they, of them at the press conference when they got back? Mm -hmm. they, you can tell. They're just like, yo, this like. We're freaked out. We're freaked yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to yeah, yeah. say something. So why, why, why could he not say anything? Well, I invited Neil Armstrong to the Disclosure Project event at the National Press Club, and his really good friend of his who was on my team said he was informed that he, his wife, his kids, and his grandkids would all be killed if he did that, that, that there was some one way or another they'd end up in accidents or something. And that's true. It's really serious stuff. I know, I know we're joking around a lot. Jeez. but So I said, well, look, you know, I'm like, I understand the pressure a man like that's under, so, you know, we'll, we'll have some other people there. So. Like, yeah, you think they'd be stoked and then they like, I mean, they're not looking too, too happy That's, there. That is wild. No, so what about were, Buzz? Well. Has Buzz hit you up or have has you hit, Buzz hit you? Uh, has Buzz hit you Has up? he punched you in the face yet? <laughs> no, no. Because, you know, look, I don't, I, I don't force anyone to go further than where they're comfortable. I understand this. You know, my military advisor was in one of these unacknowledged projects and, you know, he understood that lethal force has been used to enforce secrecy on that. And, um, it was a very dangerous thing back some years ago when we first started this. Now it's, I don't worry about it, but we got people that have our backs. I don't say more than that, but. Mm. Uh, Are we at risk for having had you on the show, would you say? No, I mean, absolutely not. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm finally getting a little wind in my sails here. And the last thing yeah. I want to do is get sniped. Yeah, don't worry he's, about he's, it. He's, sort of he's fucking, starting to graduate the micro influencer. Yeah, moving on uh, to the next category. level. Yeah, check it out. It's a big time. Uh, Logan's got something here. Ever thought of saying I misrepresented myself? Get away from me. Uh -oh. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Oh, oh shit. He gave him a gold <laughs> oh, little Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, buzz for the win, up. dog. That's what happens when you see five aliens staring at you on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> the He's win. getting fiery. Fiery. I mean, wouldn't out. you do the same thing if you went up to the moon, you risked your life, and you get down and some guy approaches you like that? I'd pop him right in the jaw, too. Well, I don't I even mean, think yeah. I need that big of a reason. I mean, imagine the like, stress these guys are under. They've yeah. seen amazing stuff. I mean, you know, I've worked with hundreds of these men and women who've been in these projects. And they have a kind of PTSD, honestly, seriously, because they have information of seeing things that's earth shattering, amazing. Mm. And they cannot speak about it. What we've tried to do is create a forum where they can. Um, and we, we spent about five years getting the legality of this worked out.
so that if anyone on my team is threatened, uh, then the people who do that will get arrested. Yeah.